What is going on guys? Dizzy Aaron here with another episode in my Terra Firma Craft World. And today, what are we doing? Well, I'm starting work on our kitchen here. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing this time around. And I got myself a couple of things here. I need to figure out how to get rid of this fucking door because I can't place it inside of anything and I'm kind of screwed with it just walking around, so. Um, yeah, if anybody knows how to get rid of doors, let me know. If not, I'm probably just gonna go outside and dump it somewhere. Or leave it, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so what I'm doing right now is basically, I'm not doing anything too crazy. All I'm doing is just digging this stuff out so I can build myself a nice clean looking little kitchen here. So, um, yeah, in order to do that, you need to have yourself uh, which I didn't actually prepare this time. Let me see if I do this right. Um, yep, there we go. Okay, so I need a chisel in my inventory along with a hammer. You need to have both. It doesn't use your hammer durability, but it does use your um, chisel durability. So um, choose different mode, a slab, and I'm doing it upside down. So I just wanna see what this looks like. And I don't think I need this anymore. Then I can just knock this down. And once we do this, I'm trying to build like a, I don't know, like a little cab, not cabinet. Um, what's the proper term for it? A little fucking um, kitchen countertop. There you go, kitchen countertop. Cause that, I mean, it's completely, that's exactly what you need to do. You need to build yourself a kitchen countertop in order for this to work. Not really, but actually I just did it the wrong way. <laughs> me uh, well actually I, I mean I did the correct thing I just didn't do it right use the wrong wrong stuff here I'm trying to use this stuff see figure uh, actually that doesn't even look good huh nah let's get rid of that okay so let me see here what am I gonna do should I leave it I'll leave it for now stupid thing but um yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be working in our kitchen and then i um, gonna show you guys how to make some meals. So let me work on this a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah, get rid of this stuff because I think we have some of these that we're smelting down. And I'll just go ahead and clear everything out um, and get my kitchen ready so I can show you guys what we're gonna do here. All right guys, so let me work on this little contraption over here and then once I get my kitchen ready to cook I'll bring you guys back and we will do some cooking with Dizzy. Alright guys I'll be right back. Alright guys and we are back. So work is complete in Dizzy's kitchen. What? Check this out. So we got our stoves cooking up over there and that little thing um, right over my shoulder is actually so we can put some pork or you know some of those deer that we kill we can roast those have some roast pork and all that fun stuff and then over here we got our little kitchen prep area so where the bowl is that's where I'm gonna be um, prepping my food so realistically yeah that's not I mean you can cook there it's not really a stove it's just a fire pit thing I put on top of some cobble and it, it works though I mean it gives it that illusion of having a big open kitchen right I like it I like it it works for me and then on this side um, this is actually a prep area so if you right click on it um, this is how you prep food so let me put this stuff away real quick. Um, but what I figured out was it's actually a lot easier to build out those little shelf things um, or those slabs with brick. So this basalt brick that we built this out of, um, I just went ahead and I used that stuff to build out um, the shelves because you don't have to keep putting, putting wooden planks underneath to hold it up. Um, like this stuff, if I put um, cobble up, it'll just fall, right? Um, that was a really bad idea. <laughs> now I gotta see like a jackass. But yeah, so if you put that stuff there, it's just gonna um, fall down unless you have these support beams and it just stays there and you can actually place, don't fall on me now. There you go. So you can actually place this across if I really wanted to um, because the support beams hold up the cobble. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. Um, not quite sure exactly how much of a radius it helps in um, supporting, but I know it does support it so that's kind of what they're supposed to be used for. 
Okay, so um, I'm gonna put away some of this stuff. I'll leave this in my inventory. Um, wood items go in there. I like this. I just got used to it now. Um, but I like having little places for everything now. All my food, I'm gonna eventually just gonna leave it inside this area. Um, just because if I'm prepping food, this is probably gonna be pretty convenient if I have all my chests in there. What I was thinking though, um, hiding the chest underneath the slabs. I, d I haven't tried it yet, but I think that might be a cool idea. Um, so it'd be kind of like drawers, you know? Having the food, I don't know. It works, it works for now. So yeah, here, let's make a meal real quick. So we're gonna put a carrot in there. Um, this is, I'm vegan, so everything I'm gonna put in there is all gonna be vegan. But we get our protein from our soybeans and uh, some new macro and micronutrient from the other items. I'm just kidding, I'm not fucking vegan, but that's all we got. So, oh, we got calamari. Let's create a meal. Create a meal. Come on. Uh, do you really need a protein in there? I don't know how to create meals. All I know is you need bowls in there. Um, let's go grab some slot or some. What the fuck's that called? Calamari. Let me put these away. Actually, these don't go there. These go over here. I think. No, up here. No. Where the fuck do they go? In here. That's where they go. All right. Uh, calamari, calamari, calamari. I think we got some. Yeah, we do. Eggs. We can cook some eggs, though. Um, yeah, we have wood. We'll cook up eggs. Because eggs taste good with vegetables, right? Oh, great. Now we need a fire starter. Okay, so we build our fire starter. And then we're just going to put a couple of logs in here. A couple in here. And then we'll put some more in there. And some more in here. All right, so now we got some logs going in there. Light all these babies up. Get our stoves going, right? Because these are stoves. Put an egg inside each one of these. I've already cooked up all my calamari, so this is all we got left. So we got to go do some more squid hunting. And so far, that seems to be the best way to get food, I'll tell you that. Um, because everything else fucking sucks. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing out there. Can't build anything else. I'm getting text messages while I'm talking to you guys. So, uh yeah um okay so maybe we do need some kind of meat in there yep looks like it is all right so this doesn't look like it's very good um it's only three filling uh or three energy and two filling let's try another one um what do we have we only have soybeans carrots calamari um is our egg cooked oh yeah our eggs cooked for sure so we'll pull out some eggs. And the reason you want to make meals is if you make a special type of meal, I don't know what's special, but I know if you mix certain items together, um, it actually gives you like speed buffs or jump boosts and random little upgrades. So we don't have a lot of stuff to play with. So we're going to have to build out a farm. And I think where I'm going to build my farm is right behind in this area where all the clay is since i hate the look of this clay i'm gonna m dig out all of this clay area and this is gonna be all my farming so we'll have our trees right here and then we'll have everything else back here it's gonna be all farms so we'll have a, uh, vegetables onions i have a lot of seeds but i don't have a lot of food so that's definitely not good um and i wonder if these cook as fast as torches do because they're cooking up pretty quick let me see. Let's see. Is it done? Warming. Hot. We're just going to watch one of them. I'm not going to watch all of them, but I want to see how fast it cooks it. So, yeah, it's it's not as fast as the torch. Because if you look how fast the torch goes, stick, catch and fire, lit, done. That's a torch. But um, eggs cook pretty quick. So, that's definitely a good thing. Um, okay. So, we'll just cook up these guys. And while I cook up all of these the rest of these eggs um i i am building a new computer so um frame rates are definitely going to be going up and my health is going to be going down oh damn i need a drink not like an alcoholic drink but i need my character needs to go have a nice little sip of water and where the fuck did i put my water um i think i put it in my miscellaneous chest. no my clay items chest well we have a ceramic jug so we'll just steal that oh god this is the bad part about setting up a new storage system 
is you forget where all your shit's at. So now I need to go get myself some water. But like I was saying, I'm building um, a new computer. So frame rates are gonna be going up. Everything's gonna be getting a little bit better. Um, Cause I know uh, Minecraft for whatever reason, uh, I don't know if it's graphics intensive or what, but I've noticed uh, like sometimes I'll be getting 70 frames per second or per minute, 70 frames per minute, whatever. But I'll get really good FPS and then I don't know where I'll just get random drops. So I don't know if it's a bug with um, TFC or what, but I'm pretty sure the new PC I'm building is going to be able to rock the fuck out of this. Um, I'm getting the um, GTX 780 uh overclocked edition and then for processor i'm doing the uh 4940k if anybody's familiar with that it's a six core um i7 i think right right i don't know it's intel it's one of the newest ones um so i'm doing that and mainly it's because i do for work a lot of video work um which is cool because it kind of ties in with youtube since the video is going to be a lot easier to process they'll be done quicker which means i'll be able to upload it more uh, because right now a video takes me about three hours to record if that seems pretty crazy it is so um, yeah just a half hour video takes me about um, well it takes me half an hour to record it and then editing doesn't take too long I'm used to editing so maybe 15 20 minutes to edit it and then after that it takes me about three hours to render it out which is insane so my pc right now is not too op um i mean i thought it was op but apparently not so yeah so we'll see how this new pc does um it should be pretty good i'm kind of stoked on it um that should be here in the next week or so um it's getting custom built so i will keep you guys posted on that um okay so that's all cooked up and then also, when you make a meal, if you toss it inside there, you'll notice that if I, let me just throw one log in there. Let's keep it going. It says cold, right? Under meal, um, a warm up, and then you'll notice that the energy is now, actually, I don't know if you can burn it. Okay, anyways, we have a hot meal now. So a hot meal, um, if you notice, now look at the energy. It gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little stars, and it fills us up. One, two, three, four, five. So one of these meals. Oh, I think it cooled down already. Yeah, it cooled down. So see how it only fills us up two? If you look at the green bar down um, at the bottom of my screen right here, see how it's only it only fills us up to there. But if we heat it up, it fills us all the way up why i don't know i guess it just feels more satisfying to have a nice warm meal there you go it's going up it's going up let's see if we heat it up come on get hot and see if it makes a difference when it goes to hot i don't think it does but i like my food nice and hot so that's what we'll do we'll cook it all the way up now nah, it makes zero difference but i guess you just gotta eat it right away oh oh man that filled me up the whole way. I didn't lose the bowl, bowl's still there. So let's put the bowl back in there. And we'll make a couple of these meals. Um, I really, oh, how about some calamari? Does that sound delicious? Yellow peppers with carrots, some egg and calamari. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Um, let's switch out the calamari for some soybeans. Oh, that one's only does Film. Okay, so don't put calamari and eggs together. It doesn't taste delicious. If you notice, it's only three filling. This one's two filling, but it gives us two energy. So um, different combinations of stuff give you different. So that doesn't make a meal, apparently. Um, we said we don't want to do that, right? The f Come on. Make me a meal. Yeah, I don't know how this works. How about two calamari? No? But an egg. Oh, we said that one does not good. Um, I don't know. Oh, this is fine for now. We'll just go ahead and leave all our shit in here. Along with our meals. 
uh, because we can only eat. Well, here, we'll put our, this will be our refrigerator for now. How about that? That's our fridge. This is our empty shit. And then, um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and leave all that stuff in there. Um, again, I don't want this iron in it or copper, so I'm going to just leave it in here. Oh, I should actually leave it inside my forge so I don't lose it because I end up putting shit everywhere and then it doesn't work. So I'll leave all this stuff in here. And then once we're ready to heat it all up, we'll, yeah, we'll be good. Okay, so um, we get ourselves our meals. Um, let me get my stuff together and then we're going to go back over in that area and see if we can find any more of those pigs. Um, if not, then we'll come back and get started on our farm. All right, guys. So give me a minute to get set up and then I'll come back. We'll be ready to go. And yeah. All right, guys. I'll be right back. All right. So change of plans like usual. Um, I know I told you guys we were going to go out there and see if we can get some more animals but what it looks like is it's nighttime already before I could leave so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start excavating this whole fucking hill down here and getting it ready for our farming um, now I know with farming in TFC you have to basically rotate your crops um, and I'm totally unfamiliar with that I did build a hoe last time around, but I didn't even use it um, because the whole farming thing, I was confused as fuck and I didn't know how to do it. Um, so this is all gonna be new to me. Um, and we have little friends coming to get us. So I don't think this is even gonna work right now. It's never easy, is it? Um, hmm. So what I'm guessing is instead of doing this, I'll have to do this off camera. Um, so let me go back inside my house because we have little visitors. You'd be trampling all over my trees over there. Um, so what I'm guessing I'm gonna do this time around is finish up building the rest of our tools um, because I'd had a lot of, um, a lot of, little um clay stuff that we that we built and then we never got to use them um so i think that's what we're gonna do we need to figure out somewhere to put the door let's just find somewhere and i don't like closed in areas so for the time being we'll just place the door up here i mean it seems legit right yeah we'll, we'll make a bedroom a bedroom is gonna go right here so the bed will eventually go in these two spots and then we'll put a door right here so you'll come up a little bedroom right there and then we'll have a fucking chicken right next to you and yeah so that's where a room's gonna go um we'll see how we'll we'll see how that goes we might end up just building it out a little bit bigger um but i really like the the way it's lit up um there's no visible torches, but everything's kind of lit up. And then the cool thing is too, um, when I built this area up here, it was actually really dark, but because I converted some of these into stairs, like right there's a stair, these are stairs, and then this is a custom built one. Uh, if you notice, see how I can select each individual one. Um, I just used a chisel to chisel this little corner p block out and it gives it that corner stair look. Um, and then it also makes it so the light can pass through there. So we don't have to worry about mobs spawning in there um, or anything like that. But at the same time, we have a nice little lit area up there. So what I was talking about was um, these ceramic molds that I have. Um, I have lots of them. Let me see where I put them. Um, because we have all of this right here. Um, oh, what the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you gonna work? I don't know why it's liquid. I haven't. It's been like a few days since I actually touched those. So let me grab all of these little casts. Are you really gonna work? Or are you lying to me? Oh, it's working. The fuck? Okay. Um, yeah, so let's pull these out real quick. I think we just saved ourselves all kinds of time. 
so I'm gonna do them as I can so I'll put that in there put this guy in there oh wait no how do we do this again so it's a right click on right click yeah right click and then which one do we need which one do we need scythe yeah yeah that's how we roll okay so we'll just do this then um and we get that guy back uh mace we definitely need the mace and i don't huh that's kind of odd how that worked out i don't even know so let me okay huh so i'm guessing maybe because i placed it right next to um the forge it remained heated um i don't know how that worked out but it seems to be working so that's definitely a good thing because i was actually going to melt down all the copper that we have sitting around and turn it back into ingots and some of these casts too but if this works then fuck it this is what we'll do right now because this needed to be done and you guys just got lucky that you got to be on camera with me to be able to do this so i'll just go ahead and do all of these molds right now and I'm also trying this whole thing out without having, um, what's it called, any music in the background. And then you guys let me know how you like that. Because I just figured, well, they're going to be sitting around listening to me ramble about random shit. And in the times that I'm not talking to them, they're probably going to get bored. So uh, let's just throw in some cool background music and we'll be good to go. But I could see how having something looped over and over and over would get annoying really fast so we're, we're trying out a couple episodes here and if you guys do enjoy it without um the random music looping in the background then let me know because we might just continue that i play it without the music going so if i have fun playing it without music then maybe you guys enjoy it too i don't know but this is pretty awesome that it's remaining heated that long usually it cools down really fast so hmm, I'm gonna start putting all my stuff over there and if that works and cool either that or it's a bug and they're gonna patch it and then I'm gonna be all kinds of sad I'd be like oh man they patched it no the one patch that I do want to know whether or not they fixed um, is a whole animal spawning thing um, because I really didn't think it was going to be that difficult to find animals, but apparently so. Which is kind of shitty, but eh. Eh. I'm not planning on playing this for like an hour and trying to win the whole game. Which is obviously, it's not going to happen, but... Um, yeah, I'm in for the long run, if you want to call it that. So I'm not too concerned about it. Um... Eventually, I mean, if we have to go out super far, I'm totally down with that. That's not even a problem for me. So we might have to go like super far away. And I I have read in the forums that if you go south, like from your spawn, um, there's more and more animals to the south. How that works out, I don't know, um, but apparently it does. So uh, we might head south and go look for stuff down there. Uh, I was thinking about adding the raised minimap to this. Um, simply just, okay, so now it's empty. Cool. Um, and for those of you that don't know what raised minimap is, it's just a minimap uh, where you can add uh, waypoints and all that. Did we just, yeah, we just lost one, I think. Um, you can add waypoints and different things like that. So you know where your house is and you don't get lost. But I don't know if that's going to lose the whole... Um, it's going to make it chi, I guess you could say. Um, I don't think it would be because it's, I don't know, it, it just makes life easier, right? Uh, but then again, it's not part of Terraformer Craft, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if I end up adding it. Uh, because right now, the only extra mod, if you want to call it that, that I've added to this is the inventory uh, tweaks which is this thing right here in the corner 
And all that does is if I hit the mouse wheel or the R key, it just organizes my tools for me. And that's pretty much it. So aside from that, there's not really anything else that I've added to this to make it cheaty, if you want to call it that. Um, hell yeah, look at this. We got ourselves an actual tool now. Attack 165. Oh yeah. As opposed to 45 with the fucking javelin or the knife, 75. Yeah. What's this, 100? Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I built a copper javelin. Cause I had to go, you know, just want to go a little bit crazy there. Not really, but oh nice 165 165 so it's about the same thing um not too crazy but is that all of our stuff we built yeah it seemed like a lot more than it actually was but all right so now we got ourselves some more molds um do i have molds in here yeah I have molds in there okay um so what are we gonna put away we're gonna put away all the stuff that we don't need. Um, well, we definitely want to be able to protect ourselves. So let's put away the saw. Saws go down here. Uh, and I like having, even though I'm not using all of these, it's just, it helps me get organized because Lord knows I don't like to be organized. So um, those guys are just gonna go there. These guys need to be smelted down. What is this, liquid? Oh, it's, I guess it's a bug. Stupid bugs. Okay, um, this one's empty, so let's put, empty's going that side. Okay, this has stuff in it. So let's put it on the floor over here. How about you, what do you have in it? This is empty. Oh, I'm grabbing two different ones. Oh, oh, oh. What about you? 30 units, huh? 30 units, you say? Okay, so let's... That's not much, but I got to clean it out in order to be able to... Um, see, this is really trippy. I don't know why these guys are still melted down into liquid. Okay, that's empty. I'm not complaining, so don't fix that bug. But what the fuck? Really? All right, that's cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. So the complete change of plan here, like usual. And now we're just going to be grabbing all of our ingots out. Because I don't have any more uh, clay molds, so I can't really make any other tools. Um, but I can. I'm trying to get this stuff out as quick as possible. It's been. It's literally been sitting in there for at least a day so I don't know what the hell's going on um, but maybe it was because after I was done building glass um, I just tossed stuff in there and it stayed heated because in the forge if you leave stuff on the right hand side it remains heated whatever level it is it stays there it doesn't increase the heat it just stays at whatever it's at so maybe because I did that it just remained there I don't know I'm still thinking it's a bug, but if it is, whether or not, I don't really care because I just saved myself a lot of work. Um, okay, so let's get all these ingots out. Do as quick as possible. Because once this liquid cools down, you have to reheat it up. And that is one pain in the ass if I ever met one. Okay, so. And we're, we're still going to need to do all this stuff anyways, um, because if we're going to build our um, copper armor, um, we need lots of uh, copper ingots. Because for each copper ingot, you get them, and are they heated? No, they're not heated. Of course not. Uh, even though they were just liquid, right? That makes sense. Look at that. Liquid, and then as soon as it becomes full. Oh, it's, well, it's still cool. But I don't know why. When you pull it out, all of a sudden it's magically cooled down. Which in reality, it wouldn't make sense because if it's going from liquid into a cast, it should remain hot. So, um, yeah. So I gotta reheat all of these ingots up again inside the forge. And then once I heat them up, um, I can take them into the anvil and smash them all together. And once I do that, then um, I can weld them into double, sh double ingots. And then the double ingots get worked into... Um, what are those called? 
uh, sheets. Yeah. Unfinished sheets, I think. And then you grab the unfinished sheets and you beat their ass again and you're done. Okay, so that one's empty now. And I think we have one more. What's inside you? What the... Okay, so apparently this is going to work. Actually, I really don't know what the fuck's going on here. I'm so lost. But this is a good thing. This is definitely a good thing. And now you guys get to see the fun work that goes behind the scenes, right? All right. So now we're going to... I think we should have enough. I don't know. Um, I know it takes... Actually, no, we're not going to have enough copper. Um, we have enough copper to melt down and then create the ingots and stuff. But I don't think this is going to be exactly enough to build everything out. Um, because for each piece, like you still have to craft it similar to how you craft uh, normal uh, vanilla item ar armor. But... Um, yeah, it takes double as many ingots, I think. Which is fine. Uh, I'm not complaining. This is going to work out. It's going to work out, right, guys? Right. Okay. So, have we lost any of them? I think we lost a couple of them. These clay... I'm going to have to build more. But at least now we have a lot of the tools that we needed. And we didn't even have before. Especially these. These, yeah... I have to keep hiding every time the freaking zombies come out because they just come in storms and I have nothing. Usually I'm beating them back with sticks and sticks don't do much. Um, I think I lost some of my arrows. I know I grabbed some arrows, but yeah. See, what would be cool is if I could actually strip the feathers off of the arrows in order to use them for other things, but I can't. So got to find them a different way. And I can't pluck them off my chicken, which, I mean, if you're, if you're trying to say that you're going to be realistic, um, you should be able to pluck feathers off of a chicken, right? Uh, guys from TFC, come on, mod makers, make that happen. I mean, if anybody's played with Darkcraft, you know they have the shears that can pull the feathers off of the chickens. Come on, why not incorporate that in here? Or maybe that is an option, I don't even know it, but... Yeah, okay, so we pretty much have a shit ton of copper now. Alright, so are you empty now? Alright, cool. So all those are empty now, and these guys are pretty much done. I think I had one. Oh, well, it's not gonna matter. But I think I have one more. Yeah, damn it. Wait, can you? You can't do this, huh? Oh, you can. Uh, I'm pretty sure we lost some in there. And we lost one of the... Whatever. Alright, we're balling out now. Who cares? We just lost a little bit. What? Oh, you're empty, right? Alright, so let's put all these guys away. Stacks on stacks on sticks. Alright, so now, now we're definitely balling out. Um, four in there. Okay, are you empty? Oh no, you're that guy. Um, ch -ch -ch. can you go in here? No, you can't go in there. You gotta go inside. You gotta go inside my stove. Let's put you in my stove. That's where you're gonna go. Okay. Um, so we're all done there. Okay, so I think that's it. That's it for now. Um. Yeah, I'm going to have to smell down the other stuff. So then that way when we come back, um, we can actually get started on the armor. Um, but we have a pretty decent amount of armor or of copper now. What is that like? At least 40 something. I don't know. But we have a ton of, of copper. So yeah, let's wrap it up here, guys. Um, I know this one's a little bit of a shorter episode on the short side, right? Right. Um, but we did get a lot accomplished in one episode, so that is definitely a good thing. Um, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you leave it a like. Um, so far, I've been getting really good response from you guys, so I do appreciate that. 
But make sure you leave it a like so I know that you are enjoying these episodes and it does give me motivation to keep making it for you guys. So uh, we're going to call it a wrap. Next time we come back, we will go ahead and start on our armor. And um, yeah, we'll be balling out. We'll be able to explore a little bit and hopefully find some of those animals that we need so desperately. So if you have any tips on finding animals, let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to do for me, guys. I am Dizzy Aaron and I am out.